Welcome to another episode of How To with Paul Henderson. Today's episode, I will be replacing the stock engine oil drain pan bolt with the Fumoto quick release oil drain valve. Here it is right here. I will be doing this on my 2019 Chevy Silverado All-Star Edition V8 5.3 liter Ecotech 3 engine with dynamic fuel management and an eight speed automatic transmission. You can purchase the quick release valve at FumotoUSA.com. They are vehicle specific, so you need to look up your specific uh, year, make, and model. Mine was $32. A hose drain kit is five, and an extra lever clip is three bucks. By replacing your stock drain bolt with this uh, Fumoto quick release valve, you can quickly start the draining process by uh, just flipping this little lever right here. And um, you won't even get a drop of oil on your hand. Um, probably not saying the same for the, when you have to take out the change out the engine oil filter. I've been using this type of valve on all my vehicles since uh, 1989. I did have an 88 Firebird, but I didn't, uh, didn't know about these back then. I'm not sure when I had bought the first one, but um, I know I've had it on uh, my 89 Firebird pretty much from uh, at least the last 20 years I owned it. I have it on my uh, 2007 GSXR 1000 street bike, and I've used it on my 2000 uh, 97 Grand Am. 2006 Chevy Silverado and of course this will be going on my 2019 Chevy Silverado. If your vehicle is too high off the ground for the engine oil to drain neatly into the container you can purchase their uh, $5 drain hose kit at FumotoUSA.com. It comes with uh, two connectors, a straight one and, a, and an elbow. That will connect to the nipple on the side of the quick release valve. And how that works is what you're going to do is choose the connector that you need. I need the elbow one for my, uh, for my, uh, my setup. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the elbow, slide it into the hose, and then the hose will attach to the nipple right here, just like that. Now, if this hose is too long, what you can do is you can just uh, cut off what you need. I'll probably uh, have it be about this long. So this is how it's going to look. My oil pan points, uh, the, the stock bolt on my, uh, on my oil pan uh, points straight down. So it's going to be just like this and I'll cut it right here and this will go right into the storage container. So not a drop is going to be able to um, uh, splash on the ground. You're not going to spill anything, and um, that makes it a lot easier. For the install, you're going to need a couple uh, different tools. You're going to need uh, the correct uh, socket for your stock drain plug and for your um, quick release valve. My quick release valve takes a 17 millimeter socket. I am not too sure about the drain valve because I haven't changed my oil yet. The first oil change was done at the dealership at about um, just over 5,000 miles, and right now I'm at uh, approximately uh, 12,000. So it's been uh, 7,000 since the last oil change. You will also need a torque wrench because uh, you will need to torque uh, the bolt that is on the quick release valve to uh, a specific torque. My torque is uh, 15 foot pounds. You can find the torque list at the FumotoUSA.com website. And um, that's it. So uh, now on to the install. What you need to do first is to remove the oil drain plug. You can do this part by hand. Just be sure that the oil drain catch pan is below the drain plug. Now we'll go ahead and let that uh, totally drain out and then uh, I'll go get my oil wrench oil filter wrench and go ahead and remove the oil filter. Before I install the Fumoto quick release valve, I'm going to go ahead and remove the oil filter. And oh, that was a piece of cake. And just like the oil drain plug, make sure you position the catch pan underneath the oil filter. Okay. 
and be sure to clean around the base of the oil filter. There is a, a gasket right here, or a rubber seal for the um, original stock uh, oil drain pan nut. You need to make sure you remove that. Before you put your oil filter back on, be sure to uh, clean the base that the oil filter connects to. I had already uh, pre-filled the oil filter with about three quarters quart of motor oil and I oiled the, the gasket. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Once it contacts, you turn it three quarters of a turn. And I'll give it a little twist with the oil wrench. There we go. Now for the installation of the Fumoto quick release valve. Comes in two pieces. Here is the bolt and here is the main body. There is an O-ring on the body, so it, that needs to go towards the, the oil pan. Slide that bolt in, just like that. Push it in. Be careful when you put it on, make sure that you're um, putting it in the correct way. You're not gonna like force it to um, strip any of the threads. And I'm gonna have the outlet for the valve body pointing this way, so when I decide to drain it, I can hook the hose on right here. So what you can do, you can hold the, the valve body and then just tighten down the, the nut, I mean the bolt. And this particular one takes a 16 millimeter and it gets torqued down to 15 pounds. I already have the torque wrench set up and it's a 16 millimeter socket. Let me go ahead and get it on there. You can hold the valve body in the position where you want it to be. And then just tighten it down. There we go, that's it. So when it comes time to change your motor oil, you're gonna pull off this blue safety clip. You're gonna take that uh, hose with the fitting on that you had bought from the website, snap it on the, the nipple, and then you're gonna push the lever in and then down. And then the oil will drain through the hose and into your receptacle. And then when it's done draining, close the lever reinstall your clip and remove the the hose and then of course you still have to do your oil filter which is the messy part but at least uh this is just a flip of a switch just wipe around it so here is a close-up of the quick release valve blue safety clip and the lever is right here and here's the nipple where the oil Will come out of and you would just connect this um, fitting to the end of the nipple that's it now that the quick release valve has been installed and the engine oil filter has been replaced i'm going to go ahead and grab the eight quarts of 020 mobile synthetic engine oil i'm going to go ahead and dump that in and then we'll jump inside the vehicle and i will show you how to reset the engine oil life system so let me go ahead and grab that oil and um, i'll be right back i'll see you inside in a few minutes okay Maybe, uh, maybe 10. So here's my eight quarts of Mobile One Synthetic Zero Weight 20 motor oil. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dump them in here. I'm not gonna film the entire process of uh, dumping eight quarts in here because it's gonna take a little way too long. I did use uh, just over half a quart to fill up the oil filter. So I got like seven and a half quarts to dump in here. I'm gonna get that all done. And then we'll go ahead and jump inside and I'll show you how to reset the oil life, uh, the oil life system. Uh, right now it's at, uh, I believe, uh, 13%. So let me go ahead and finish this and uh, I'll see you inside the vehicle. In order to reset the engine oil life system, you will use these controls right here to scroll through the menus on the driver information center, which is located on the center of the instrument cluster. Be left, right, up and down and push in the reset.
Okay, right now my hood is open. I'm going to go ahead and dismiss that. Now, this is the main page for your um, Driver Information Center. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll over once. And here we have tire pressure, oil life. There we go. Right now I'm at 13%. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, reset that. So I push in on the center dial. Are you sure you want to reset it? No or yes. So I'm going to scroll over to yes. And then it's reset to 100%. I'll show you a few more things that are on this uh, driver information center. So you have oil life, fuel range, 321 miles until my uh, tank is empty, trip two, trip one. You can reset it by hitting the center scroll wheel once, arrow over to yes, and then reset, now it's reset. Speed is zero, info page is blank. This is the angle of the vehicle. Transmission fluid is at 90, uh, 90 degrees. Engine hours, 390.6. There's a timer if you want to set a timer while you're driving. And here's a cool one, fuel economy. Um, I have this set for a 50 mile range. I'm averaging 15.3 and my best is 18.5. Brake pad life, 96 front, 98 rear. Air filter is at 95% and then tire pressure. And then on the main page, you can actually um, choose what you want to be on here. Right now, I have speedometer, time, and fuel range selected on there. You can select up to three. If you only want the speedometer, you can just uh, deselect these other two. And then you go back to uh, your home page, and it's just uh, the miles per hour. Now, what you can also do, scroll down to the cog wheel. Now on your info pages, you can select what you want to be on all those. I selected every single one there was. So we'll go ahead and go back. Then you got the home page options. Speed warning, I have set up for 80 miles an hour. Uh, arrow back once. And then you have the software information. Let's just see what that is. This just tells you the software. And then you can go down and see everything on it. So that's it. And let's go ahead and get back to the main page. There we go. Well, that's a wrap up on another how-to video with Paul Henderson. And this one was the installation of the Fumoto Quick Release Oil Drain Valve. I did it on my 2019 Chevy Silverado All-Star Edition. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get notifications as new videos come out. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and I hope your engine oil flows freely. And uh, uh, stay after this little, uh, this little thing here, and um, I'll put some bloopers at the end. I do make a script. I stick to it, yet I seem to mess up all the time. I think um, some of these uh, takes took like uh, 12. <laughs> I try. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the bloopers. Like I said, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello and welcome to my channel, How To with Paul Henderson. Today's episode, I will be installing, no, <laughs> first, uh, first one and I mess up already. Hello and welcome to my channel, How To with Paul Henderson. Today's episode, I will be replacing, ah, shit. Hello and welcome to my channel, How To with Paul Henderson. Today's episode, I will be replacing the stock engine oil filter oil drain plug oil drain plug damn it welcome to another episode of how to with paul henderson today's episode i will be replacing the stock engine oil bolt drain bolt drain bolt why can't i get that right damn it drain bolt you can purchase the uh, you can purchase the quick release valve on fumoto at uh, at or on what is it the valve is $32. They're drone, <laughs> drone, uh, drain, drain kit. You can purchase the quick release lever at FumotoUSA.com. Uh, the lever is, a <laughs> it's not a lever, it's a valve, dumbass. By replacing your stock drain plug with, uh, no, it's not a plug, it's a, it's a damn bolt. Test one, test two, test three. 
Now that the quick release valve has been replaced and um, not replaced, installed. <laughs> hey, so far it's all going good. You only have a <laughs> dozen takes here and there. Damn. What do you call that thing? Quick release valve. <laughs> test one, test two, test three. I forgot and uh, didn't even get my hands dirty. Okay, a little bit when I did the oil filter, but uh, that's to be expected. I was wearing gloves at least. That's it. I did use uh, just a little bit over half of a quart to fill up the oil filter and go ahead and take uh, this cap off. It's kind of a bitch. There we go. Okay, here's my eight quarts of mobile 020 mobile oil. No, 020 mobile synthetic mobile oil. Okay, so here's my eight quarts of uh, mobile one synthetic 020 weight. <sighs> Got that wrong too. So here's my eight quarts of mobile one zero weight 20. Zero, zero weight 20, zero 020. So here's my eight quarts of mobile one, zero weight 20 motor, 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 motor oil, motor oil. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh, fill tube. What do you call that thing? If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and you'll get notifications as new videos come out. Have a good, uh... <laughs> man, I almost made it through. Well, that's a wrap up and another how damn fly damn it